Hello and welcome to this very quick and simple guide to jump links on Shopify. I am going to show you two ways to make jump links in this video. So first of all, what is a jump link? So if I come down here and I see this here, is Kiton overpriced? If I click this, then the article jumps to the point in the page that I have assigned to uh, that particular jump, okay? So you can do this manually or you can use a plugin. I'm gonna show you how to do it manually first just in case you don't want to spend $2 a month on a plugin. But I will tell you right now, it's incredibly worth using the plugin. So we're gonna need two very small pieces of code. The first one is the clickable hyperlink and the second one is the point in the page where the clickable hyperlink will jump to once it's clicked. You can use this as a one-off. If you're just trying to do this as a one-off, then this is definitely very, very useful. But if you want to do this for every single one of your titles in a blog post, in every blog post you write, then I think you should definitely have a look at the plugin that I'm going to recommend um, in, a, in a minute. But basically, all we do is we take the first one here, so ahref, and then this is the name here of the um, the jump, the anchor. Okay, this is the name of the anchor on the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. But you, you obviously you write whatever you want here. So write whatever here, and then this is the text that the user will see. So click here to jump, and then I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to change this actually, like this. And then I'm going to change this to welcome to part way down the page. Okay, so let's stick these in. I'm just going to put these uh, anywhere in the article. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to replace uh, what I have already. I need to remember to undo this. <laughs> Whatever, I'll do that after. Okay, so when I hit save here, and then if I click view on this article, if I scroll down, is kit on overpriced? I click this and you can see it jumps, okay? But there are a couple of problems with this method. The first one is this weird um, like stop sign on my cursor. I don't know if you can see my cursor. Oh yeah, you can. So yeah, I don't know what this is doing. I don't know why this is doing this, but it's kind of annoying. And basically, I just found like a much better way to do this. So let's have a look at uh, this article that I wrote today, for example. Look at this table of contents. Do you, do you know how long this would take me to do if I did it manually? It would have taken me hours probably just for this one article. So this one plugin saves so much time, okay? So let's get the exact plugin that I'm using because it's only $2 a month and it's really, really good. So it's called Easy Table of Contents. I'm gonna pin it to my nav bar so that I can find it at any point. If you just click search here and type in Easy Table of Contents and then click on uh, search on the App Store. If you're planning on writing a lot of content, this is a must have, okay? It costs $2. I don't think there's really an excuse to not use it, to be honest with you. Uh, it has this really, really good setting. So I, I'm on Dawn. I've put smooth scroll. I don't really know what that does. But this setting here is really, really useful. So you can make it so it only selects certain headings. Okay. So when you're writing an article, you want to make sure that you're using H2 for main headings like this. And then H3 for subheadings like this. Okay. This is best practice not only for Google, but it also means that this table... Um, this uh, contents table maker, table of contents maker, w actually works. You can see this is, I think this is like a brand new uh, plugin. They, they have a lot of um, spelling mistakes and things all over the place. But gen generally speaking, it works really, really well. So once you've installed it, what you want to do is you want to click on your online store. And depending on where you want to put this, so if you want to put this on a page, it's going to be different. I have it on my blog post, so I'm going to click on blog posts and you want to click on the default blog post um, template and then you want to add the section here and you can see the app able easy table of contents right here and that has now been added so I'm going to remove this because I already have it added. I have it underneath the featured um, the featured image and that seems to work pretty well. 
And yet, honestly, this tool is unbelievably good for SEO and it only costs $2. So the reason this is so good for SEO is because if you think about it, if you open this on your phone, okay, let's say you open this on your Pixel 5, normally you're going to have a big wall of text. So you're going to have this image which will keep you interested. Obviously, you like this title because you just clicked on it. But then just imagine this big wall of text, okay? But instead of that, people can just find exactly what they're looking for right here. So let's say you wanted to know whether the je whether jeans are acceptable for business casual. You can just click here and it takes you directly to this part of the article. I can't stress how good this is and how good this is for SEO. It's really, really fundamental for SEO. And it just means that your blog posts will do better because people will be spending longer on the blog post because they haven't left, because they haven't been attacked by a massive wall of text. So right now I'm writing a lot of content. I wrote this article, this article, this article, I finished this article today. And this is saving me so much time, okay? Because I can't stress how good this is for SEO. And the fact that it just does it automatically for $2 a month. The, the knock-on effect, if you're writing a lot of content, okay? So you have to be writing a lot of content for this to actually work. Another really, really good thing is that if I go on Search Console and I search this, I released this article today. Okay, remember that, I released this today. Let's see if it's on Google. It's already on Google, as you can see. Let's see if the... German version is on Google. I don't think it will be, but it might be. No, it's not, uh, which is fine, of course. But yeah, the the SEO power of this one $2 tool cannot be overstated. And it works on mobile, which is super, super useful. You can see that I'm on mobile, basically. Okay, you can check this on your own uh, mobile device as well. But you, I tend to trust the inspector tool. If you don't know how to get onto the inspector tool, you just right click and inspect. And then you change the phone that you're looking at. It's best practice to always make sure that everything looks good on mobile and everything works on mobile. And I'm happy to report that this particular plugin does actually work very well on mobile. It's good for SEO and it's only $2 a month. But like I said, you can do this yourself, like I showed you at the beginning of this video, but I can tell you now it, it takes it takes a very, very long time to do it. If you do want to do it yourself, I'd recommend doing it. Um, I'll show you a better way to do it quickly, I guess. So what I would do personally is I would lay out my headings already in a Google document. So I would, I would just put these as like the table of contents or whatever. You could probably get away with just writing a number here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then every single time you write a new header, then you just add a new one of these like this. This is probably the easiest way if you don't want to spend the $2 um, header. So yeah, just do this while you're writing. It's kind of annoying. I personally wouldn't recommend this. I'd much rather just use the plugin, but I mean, each to their own, I guess. And then you can just, yeah, as you go, you can write a new header and then write a new header. And then you can probably very easily make an HTML um, contents thing here. You could probably do it programmatically without using this um, tool as well. But yeah, like I said, for me, I just, I've got a lot of things to be getting on with. And the price of $2 for something so powerful is very, very worth it for me personally. So yeah, I hope this helps. At the end of this video, there's going to be a playlist with all kinds of customizations and tutorials for Dawn and other Shopify 2.0 themes. Feel free to check that out if you want to do some interesting um, things to your store for free without paying someone to do it for you. I hope this is helpful and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.